Hey everyone, welcome back to Because Jesus Bible Journaling. It's Monica. Welcome to my flip through my journaling Bibles for the months of September and October of this year. I hope you enjoy seeing what I was up to. So let's jump right in. This month I sort of have three Bibles to show you. Let's start with this one here. This is really exciting to me. There's a video coming out that shows how I did this, but basically I created a new cover for this Bible. This was kind of my take to church Bible every Sunday Bible. I don't write in it and it's just kind of been my go-to Bible for about 10 years and it was falling apart and flaking off in my lap during church. So I'm really excited. There's a video coming for how I did this. It's just kind of a multimedia DIY new Bible cover. So I did want to show that to you because that was one thing I did in the month of October. For the rest of September and October, these are the two Bibles that I was working in and I'm excited to jump in and show them to you. This is my single column ESV journaling Bible. This is my interleaved Bible. Let's start this month with my single column journaling Bible. So this is for September and October, like I said, and it has been a really busy couple of months. At the end of September, I didn't feel like I had really enough pages to share, and so I waited for October as well, and now I just have a ton of pages to share. So this one here was fairly early on in September. This is a multimedia page as I'm working through the Book of Psalms. This is a very old page over here. But in addition, during September and October, I also used a magazine clipping for this. And there is a live video for both of these so far. And then this one here, I believe, is going to be coming live very soon if it's not live already. This was just talking about wealth and how you can't take it with you. Moving right along, this was part of my faithfulness series. I did a word study on long suffering and did some notes and things and scripture writing to just kind of document my thoughts on the word long suffering. Isn't it great that God is so patient with us? And then this one here was from a template that is available in my Etsy store. Again, in the, in the faithfulness series, I will sing forever and ever and ever. I believe the video includes a tutorial on how to get kind of a multi-dimensional look to your banners. Next, this was another video that is already live. God has made the one as well as the other, talking about seasons of prosperity and seasons of suffering and how God is not surprised by either one. He's always with us. This was my page here about exalt. It was another word study, and I used watercolor pencils and things like that to just make this page really pop out. Coincidentally, this is also watercolor pencil, but it was from January of last year. This was kind of an interesting page for me. This is different than what I usually do, but I was able to get a hold of some templates from Bible Journaling Ministries from Tracy. And so she sent me some templates and I went ahead and did kind of a collage page. And this is all about enlarging our tents for what the Lord might have coming our direction, being ready for him for whatever that could be. Here in Romans, I did a watercolor pencil stained glass look. Christ died for us, meditating on how faithful he is to love us, so faithful that he sacrificed his own son. Getting to the last book of the Bible, here is Revelation. His voice was like the roar of many waters. Again, it's another watercolor pencil page. As you can see, I was really loving watercolor pencil during September and October. I loved this new technique that I learned about dipping the pencil itself. And so you can find lots of videos on my channel about that. And then finally, one more tip in here. The writer's name is Faithful and True. This is about that writer who is described in Revelation being on a white horse. He is the one that is victorious and triumphant. I love it. Hope you enjoyed the flip through of this Bible. Let's move along to my interleaved Bible. 
So I often get questions when I work in my interleaved Bible about am I covering up the words of the Bible or not? And so just a reminder, every other page throughout the entire Bible is blank. So that gives me lots and lots of room to get really creative and have a lot of fun. So this page here, I don't have marked, but I think it was done in September. Yeah, it was done in September. Um, this was also in that faithfulness series about God being faithful to carry through what he's promised. This is one that I think may not have gone live yet. I am the apple of his eye. This was such a fun, very simple collage page and just again celebrating God's faithful love for us. A few pages later, I did a little tent here about he will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He's so faithful to protect us as well. If you couldn't tell, I was going through a big faithfulness series during October, and so I definitely had a lot on faithfulness in the Bible. This was on solid ground. This template's also in my Etsy store. And this just was reminding me of that hymn, On Christ the Solid Rock I Stand, All Other Ground is Sinking Sand. And Psalm 40, verse 2, did a little scripture writing up here. This is kind of a collage, also oil pastels, kind of multimedia, a lot of fun. Now this one I'm pretty sure is not live yet, but this is all about the scripture that talks about us being engraved on his hands. The people of God are engraved on his hands, and the Lord loves us the same way that a mother hen cares for her chicks. That's kind of the context that this comes in, and I just think it's a beautiful reminder of his great love for us. This one as well was about the faithfulness of God to his promises. His word shall not return empty. And this was a process using watercolor and salt in my Bible, so be sure to look that one up if you're interested. This one I think was back in September as well. It seems like a long time ago, but it was just kind of a simple collage. I made my own little alpha letters just by using scissors and magazine paper. And so this is all about the Good Shepherd and his sheep know his voice. Lots of amazing things in John chapter 10. Moving right along, here we are in Romans again, and this was a little word study on the word hope, or El Piso, and it really got down to the theme of trusting in, and that was kind of my takeaway from it. This again is a collage with hymn pages and flowers from a vintage book on wildflowers and herbs. A lot of fun, and then I used my favorite Castell brush pens to complete this with a little bit of color. And then finally, I think this is the last page I have to share. This is all the way back here in Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. We are holding fast to the confession of our hope, because he who promised is faithful. And so again, this was a collage page. This here is vellum. It's a template of mine, and then it's laid over scrapbooking paper, which is laid over this big magazine clipping, and then I use some oil pastels and some white marker to just kind of bring it all to life. I, again, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. Jump into the Word of God for yourself today. It is amazing. I would love for you to share the pages that you've created this month and last month over on my Facebook group. You can also find me on Etsy, and that's where you can purchase a lot of the templates that I use in my own Bible as well. Give this video a thumbs up or a comment below. Bye-bye.